guys, and welcome back to part two of how to make a block. Uh, this part, we're just going to be going over basically just adding the block into the game, but we won't be r making it randomly generating yet. That'll probably be next part. So, first things first, this is my redstone block that I've added into the game, and this is all the code that's really required, and most of this you don't even really need. So, anyway, let's just create our new block. So just right-click on here, and then create a new class, and we'll call this block copper ore, just like that. So now we have our block copper ore, and the first thing you want to do up top here is go import java.util.random and just like that. And that is the first thing that we actually need. And um, if you hear laughing, <laughs> it's because my neighbors are here watching me create it. Um, create the mod and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and then you just want to do extends block. <laughs> and um, basically from there, inside here, you just want to do protected. How do you know this so well? Um, my neighbors ask me how I know this so well. I just know my stuff. Just I memorizing. actually, I actually did. Um, yes, memorizing it for sure. Um, I actually did have to figure all this stuff out myself because um, YouTube videos suck and they don't help me at all. Oh, um, nice. So you just want to do protected um, block copper or int x or int i doesn't really matter. Um, material, <coughs> material, and then. You just want to do that, and then let's just go down another line, and then do super x material, and then just finish it off with that. And that is just really the basic code. That's all you really need, but we're also going to add um, what it drops later and how many it can drop, so you can customize everything so that instead of it dropping like a copper ore, it can drop like a copper ingot or something, you can customize it like that, um, but we'll do that in a second. So now, um, just a second. <laughs> Digging um, back in the memory? Yeah, um, we just gotta go, just right click on here and then go new class and then mod underscore and then uh, block copper or you can really name this whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And um, you don't have to follow exactly everything I do, because I know lots of people do that. Yes, but try to... But just try to come up with like your own stuff, because that always helps. <coughs> um, always helps, always. Yeah, um, and then you just want to do public static final You're block... You're a memorizer. Yeah, no. Um, I'm just going to move this down, actually. Uh, static final block, and then... And if you hear that jingling, <laughs> it's my uh, cat. famous Kitty. cat that's in every episode of everything I ever do. So, Block, <laughs> copper, or... And then just equals new block, and then what we named this file... I'm just going to get rid of these. What we named um, this file, so block, copper, or... This is what it is. So bl equals new block copper or and then you want to give it a value and don't set it over like 200 because if you do a thousand in something it's gonna crash Minecraft and I found that out the hard way a lot of times and that's why YouTube videos didn't really help me out it's because they didn't really give tips like that so um, what I'm gonna do for the purpose of this is set it to material as rock so you can do material dot rock you can also do like material dot second material dot and then there's all these things here so you can set it to anything you really want to but I'm gonna set it to rock and then you can do dot and setting the material here um, will set all the sounds and everything so you don't have to worry about having to set sounds and stuff so then you can do set hardness because if you don't do set hardness it'll just give it a default as rock so and now I'm getting whacked in the back of the head. Um, and then 
Oh yeah, and then you can also set the resistance. I think I spelled that wrong. No, I didn't. Um, you can set the resistance, and that's um, basically the resistance of TNT, so how easily it explodes by TNT. And then... What you are you can, setting it? Um, I'll just set it to like 1F. Actually, I'll set it to 10, because that's... It's 10F. <clears throat> F is float, so it's just like... It's just the data value of like... Just how strong it is. Um, and then, yeah, you can just finish it off with a semicolon, and that's all you really need on this line. You can also do other things, like if you go into the actual block.java, I'm going to double click on this right now, and you go to the very bottom here, um, you can also get other things, so set light opacity, so light will actually pass through it. You can also set light values to it as well, and but you don't have to set... Um, the step sound because that is already right here when we set the material dot rock. Um, so basically, the next thing you want to do here is um, basically. Okay, one second. I'm also just down here. I'm just going to do public. Oh, void load and then we're just going to do oops, <coughs> just this because we don't really need these lines but they have to be in here and then public string uh, get version and then you just want to do uh, squiggly bracket, and then down here, you just want to do return, and then what version of Minecraft it's for, so just 1.2.5, and then a semicolon. And that's all you need there, so that'll fix errors up top here. And then the next thing you want to do is just register the block, so modloader needs to be able to med register it, so you just need to do public mod underscore block copper or, and then dual brackets, and another squiggly bracket, and then inside here you just want to register it, so mod loader dot register block, and then what your block is, and I have a cat on my head, ow! Digging his claws in your back. In my back. <laughs> It hurts a lot, actually. Um, so you just want to do modeler dot register block, and then your block name. It does not have to be in brackets. In fact, I don't think it is in brackets at all. So, and then add brackets. <laughs> brackets, not blackets. Um, I said blackets. Shut up. <laughs> block copper. Don't forget to put in the blackets. Yep, yeah, the blackets. <laughs> Um, so, right now, we're just doing basic, just adding the name, so, um, yeah, copper ore. And then, really, that's all you need. You can also um, add the recipe as well, and other things like that, if you want to have a recipe for it. Recipe yes, the recipes of disaster, as my neighbor says. But the other thing we also need to do is set what the texture is. So block. My neighbor's got a name. My neighbor's got a name. <laughs> Little G. The last time I checked, the neighbor's got a big G. Yeah. And then just block. <laughs> index in texture. <laughs> equals mod loader. Dot add. Ugh, I'm being strangled. In my daily life right here, guys. Um, so, <laughs> dot add override, and then it's just basically um, slash terrain dot PN, png here, and then in here it's where your thing is actually going to be. So, slash items plus mod and then slash blocks and then slash 
copper ore dot png. So that is where our item is. And this should work now, but what we're also going to be doing in here is just setting what it can drop. So what you want to do... Oh, okay, so what you want to do is public int id dropped um, int x and then random rand int y <laughs> and then from there you just want to do return and then mod underscore and then block copper or dot block copper or and then dot block copper or ID no dot block ID and then we'll finish this off with the semicolon and then what the heck's going on here oh whoops yeah, okay, that was probably the errors. Um, so then you just want to go down here and then do public int quantity dropped. And you don't have to set this, but if you want to set it so that it drops more than one, then you can set it. So random rand and then squiggly bracket and then in here just do return and then how many you want it to drop so let's just set it from one and that should actually work so let's test it right now and it crashed of course it did um, it's wow. missing it's missing a name tag I don't know what that means one second add name Um, General Awesome Games is stumped. Yeah. One second. No, he's not. General Awesome Games is awesome. One second here. Um, that should all be right. I'm just going to open up one second. Let's try it again. It's not going to matter if I try it again. Um, Good job, Big G. <laughs> Good suggestion. Um... That sh oh okay. Um, we need to do dot um, set block name. Yeah, I forgot to do this. Sorry about that. And then just block copper or, and that should be good. That should work. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so now we're going to go into this mod test world. And in here, um, one thing you're going to notice, this is a glitch, is that um, the block, because this is my redstone block, its ID is 179. It should actually appear right here, but it doesn't, so that's a glitch. And I think that, I don't know how to fix that. Um, it does show up in too many items, though, like your block will show up in too many items. But for some reason, it doesn't show up in the creative menu. I think that has to be fixed with another um, mod plugin. But quickly, just to show you that the block is in the game, I'm just going to go into here and just um, copy this. And then what we're going to do is just set this so that it's block dot dirt so that we can craft it very easily and then this is just block copper ore so yeah that should work how long do the blocks usually take for like is it the same amount whether you like make your own or um like just have one from the game to like destroy or whatever is it the yeah. same amount of time like yeah. nothing's different well just that's um set hardness well We'll do that. So here we go. Our copper ore is in the game. It's pretty cool. The orange. I like the orange. Yeah. So 
Here is our ore. That's sick. Look at it. And there it is. Yep. Yeah, and now my neighbor's videotaping me, which is a little <laughs> weird, but um, next this is episode. Going on the channel. Neighbor's got a name. Um, next episode, we'll go over how to make this randomly generate so that you can find it and make cool armor and stuff out of it. And if you want to, this is another question, if you want me to actually have this in my mod, because right now, because right now, um, my mod has all these items, so uh, soak that all in. There's bedrock items, and then there's some special items and stuff. Yeah, soak it all in, and then even this block here emits light, so that's other things that you can do. So, yeah, subscribe to see the next part, and, um, <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, so I will see you guys next video. I'm General Awesome, and, uh, yeah, peace out.